Uhu. Today we've got a lot of topics to cover. I even have a list with them. Let's start. <laughs> My stockpile. My stockpile. Yeah, I have now um, five full chapters as a stockpile, but tomorrow is Monday and then um, I'm back to four. So I didn't accomplish the whole um, five chapter stockpile. This would be that I have uh, six chapters and I fall back to five when um, I publish one. But I didn't waste last week. I had good times. I did much for my health. I did uh, three sessions of Qigong with uh, Flowing Principles. played table tennis with my mother and gone for a walk of remembrance, let's call it this way. Uh, you can watch a bit of it in the video, Welcome to the Meta World. Then the Discord server. I did a tiny bit of spying, yeah? Uh, but let's say it didn't have the priority for me last week and it won't have the priority for me next week. So I made a Discord server because they offered it when I registered uh, for Discord. It's just Bear. <laughs> Maybe I publish uh, the Pretty Bear server sometimes in the next weeks. Uh, I do just a tiny bit of polishing and publish it. We'll see. I don't want to make any promises uh, about this because, like I said, it uh, doesn't have the priority for me at the moment. Good. Then I wanted to talk about uh, what kind of marketing I did in the past. And I did nearly no marketing. I registered at Reddit and posted in the Reddit uh, vlog section my vlogs. And in the lit RPG and web fiction section, some kind of hello, here I am thing, yeah. I made some banners for it. In the last week, I was active on Twitter, connecting with the writing community. They love GIFs. I didn't know this. I thought GIFs were a thing of the past, of the early 2000s, uh, something like this, and I made a lot of gifts in the 90s. <laughs> uh, so it's good to, that I still have my gift making skills, and um, I use them to make ninja hand gifts. I think my video editing program doesn't allow me to post uh, gifts here. And of course I combined gifts and advertisement banners for the maximum effect. <laughs> Let's call it this way. Oh dear. Yeah, a friend of mine said his eyes hurt, hurt when he saw my favorite gift. So uh, they're great. <laughs> oh, why does my list say uh, such a negative thing about after the nice part with the gifts? <laughs> yeah. At Friday I published the chapter Bank Robby and my feeling beforehand was kind of... Uh, I reread the chapter a few times and I thought, ah, 
I don't like the flow of it and I don't like the emotions that are co conveyed in it. That's a problem I had in the past as well, that I'm not good in writing strong emotions because I'm a pretty uh, stable person and um, I have uh, emotional ups and downs, but uh, they are not that pronounced. <laughs> if an uh, MC of mine met some pretty high intensity situations, I'm a bit flummoxed how to express it. And it often happens to me that the changes of the emotion of the MC are too abrupt and too, oh, I'm all frightened, I'm all panicky, and then, yeah, I have it under control. I think the Bank Robbie chapter had these problems as well. I also thought that it was more in my head than in reality, but the chapter wasn't good received. It was pretty badly received, the subscriber count. On Royal Roads, I got, after every release, 5 to 10 new um, followers. And after this release, on Friday, one follower left and um, only one other follower came. So, uh, whew, yeah. On web novel it was better. I got uh, three or four new followers. One of them my mother. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what to make of it. I shouldn't um, overstate the fact. There will be better chapters and worse chapters. I hope not much worse chapters. I can't let such minor bad results influence my mood that much, but I was moping a bit, yes. I know it was silly to mope, but I was... Follower left. Yeah, um, like I said, I was at my parents last week. I told my mother of the doubts I had uh, of this chapter and that I took a few shots at Frenchmen and she said, oh no, never do any racism, never uh, make jokes about other countries or religions. Yeah, but it's French, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I said that uh, the Frenchmen are only the first in the long list of people I tend to make fun of. I told my mother, oh, Mopi, mama, follow left me uh, and she laughed and said oh that was probably the Frenchman <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so let's say um, I've got one French follower uh, less than before <laughs> no I mean it's all it's all in good fun yeah I'm aware that there is a discussion about racism and jokes and xenophobia and jokes but on the other and it's a fine line between making some jokes to relieve the tensions and making jokes to obstruct tensions or making jokes to create tensions and use the oh I just made a joke, it's just a joke, don't you have any humor? Huh? Man. Don't you understand jokes? Yeah. It's a difference. Alright, the next topic is the writing community. Like I said, I was active on Twitter and discovered that there's a huge writing community. And I'm stoked about it and I'm trying to connect to this writing community. I tried to collect, connect in the last days and I'm pleased with it. Yeah. I discovered strange phenomenon. In the first few weeks, I made zero advertisements, a self promotion for my story, because the story was just zero chapters. So I thought, uh, okay, 
let's get my YouTube channel growing and through my YouTube channel they can find uh, my story. This didn't work at all. Nobody noticed my uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, and it was a bit astonishing uh, for me. I had a YouTube channel in the past uh, where I did uh, some gameplay and uh, posted a, a class guide. I don't know the name of the class and I don't know the name of the game anymore. It was that small MMO, um, something the sky, I don't know. And the class name was uh, something with uh, kinetic, kinetomancer. <laughs> it wasn't kinetomancer. Uh, so it was a play a game not played by very much uh, people and I got a few thousand uh, views and so I said oh this YouTube thing uh, I got it in the back it's easy uh, yeah it's not that easy if you do vlogs <laughs> it might be easy if you do gameplays yeah so I had um, near to zero growth of my YouTube channel and all my viewers were friends of mine. In the last uh, days, let's say the last two weeks, I changed to uh, promoting more my story because I have now nine chapters, uh, around um, 15k uh, words and that uh, is f around 50 chapters in a normal book. So it's a bit, yeah, you can get an impression of my writing, of the world, um, not of the story, because I spent the last uh, three days writing four chapters. The time passed in the story was half a day, so I don't make much progress in the timeline. But we are in a part where I set up things. It's all pretty normal for me that time passes slowly in my written works. So yeah, it's just that case. Um, take it or leave it. Okay, so I promoted my story. And like I said, I had this zero new follower weeks. Uh, not week, but four days of no, no new followers. But my YouTube channel grew, yeah? Ah, oh, that's a difficult situation for people like me who want immediate reward or immediate punishment for their actions. Or want is, I don't know if want is the exact word, maybe need immediate reward and an immediate punishment. And um, yeah, there's a thing, thing about video games, about MMORPGs, that uh, you get this immediate reward and this immediate punishment for uh, good or bad actions. And I think it's a peril of games that it trains people on the system. And in real world, it doesn't work like this. I have to adopt the mental picture that I planted my YouTube channel and gave it water, nutrients, and uh, it didn't grow uh, at once. But now, after a bit of time, uh, my actions hooked and now I can reap the advertisement I sue, reap the promotion I sue, reward I sue, reap the... Yeah, I can reap what I sue. I can reap what I sought. I can reap what I sought. So, suit clinged like I sued the field. Give me me money, field. Field, I watered you. Give me followers. Oh, I sent my lawyers to you. <laughs> Let's leave it like that. Um, yeah, next point. There's a YouTube personality with the name of Gad Saad. He's Canadian, so maybe you can pronounce it Gad Saad, which doesn't make it better at all. And he's... I would say older than 60, is a refugee uh, from uh, Lebanon 
and is a professor some kind of psychology evolutionary psychology he may he pokes fun at social justice warriors and i watched a few of his clips not many watched maybe uh, the joe rogan experience with him and a david rubin show with him and uh, that's it yeah and i watched uh, my videos i have a similar manic to Katzat. Yeah. I'm totally furious by it. I mean, how can a German woman have the same mimic than a Canadian Lebanese old guy? Yeah. I don't know how this happened. Maybe we have common ancestry. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't copy the mimic from him. I asked my mother to judge it. Uh, yeah, it's so practical to have parents around, but now I'm back to my uh, flat and it's uh, wonderful as well. I don't want to advertise living with your parents. I just want to say I enjoyed my holidays uh, with my parents. Uh, thank you very much. I showed my mother this and uh, she sat beside me and the first thing she did was uh, laughing because of the th thumbnails shown in YouTube because on all these uh, thumbnails he had a similar expression uh, to myself or expression she knew from uh, me. So I showed her the video and she said, yeah, it's not that pronounced, yeah, but her first reaction, I, I think the first reaction was more honest. I don't know what to make of it. Maybe I write Dr. Sad about it and uh, it would be funny if we would make an interview to pay people with the same expressions <laughs> sitting in front of each other or with the sc two Skype windows. <laughs> and Let's leave God's out. So what about my plans for next week? Writing, 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 writing. I don't think I can uh, make significant progress with my stockpile. The um, next week is pretty packed. So writing, let's hold the status quo and maybe add one chapter to the stockpile. <laughs> maybe just I just need half a chapter to get to the five uh, chapter stockpile. Maybe, maybe it works, maybe it works not, but it's all right. Then I have important um, administrative um, stuff like my health insurance. I have to fill out formulas and um, send them away and uh, maybe visit the agency for work. If you got the impression that the finance and is bad, yeah, the agency for work is one of the worst agencies in Germany. They are incredible, incompetent, and are an enemy to humanity. <laughs> That's maybe slightly over the top, but only slightly over the top. We'll see. If I'm motivated, I go. If I'm not motivated, I leave it to next week or the, ne the week after next week or the week after next week after next month, maybe in the next year. So it's not that important, but um, it is possible that they would give me money for my health insurance. And that would be great but it's always the question how much hassle and how much humiliation you have to suffer for 200 euros per month some people think 200 euro per month is uh, worth a lot of suffering and humiliation i'm not that sure i think they maybe calculate wrong because if you allow yourself to be humiliated and to endure unnecessary suffering, it will destroy a part of you. This part of me, I need to be creative. If they bully me, 
I'm not that motivated to write a funny story, so uh, my story will suffer and my whole project will suffer and this can result into more financial loss than the 200 euros per month they uh, would give me. It's one of the things where stupid people see the short-term gains, the 200 euro, but you have to protect yourself and your integrity and not to be and not let yourself be a little monkey that is getting trained by the government to spring through hoops like they want. Good. Next topic. I made a writing plan for uh, next week. Let's go over it. I made the plan for the whole day. So, um, 8 to 10 o'clock I left free because I will probably sleep until uh, 10 or a bit before 10. Because I want to, I'm naturally inclined to work in the night. That was possible for me in the last years, but um, now it's possible. So I will sleep longer in the mornings and I will try first uh, with the 10 o'clock wake up schedule and see how that works. Let's just test it. So a bit writing in the morning, two hours, then uh, shopping, cooking showering, beautifying, things like this. With being creative, I mean drawing GIFs, drawing art for my story, making YouTube videos, editing YouTube videos, this kind of stuff. Then uh, we have nap time. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, if I even need nap, nap time, if I can sleep longer in the mornings, maybe I don't need it anymore. We'll see. Um, 18 to 20 o'clock uh, admin stuff, uh, administrative work and networking, like connecting to the Twitter community is also included. I will go uh, for a walk at uh, 8 o'clock in the evening and do some stretching and some sport. And then another session of writing. Yeah, my plan ends at midnight, uh, but I think I will write a bit of longer. I noticed that my writing flows very nicely after uh, midnight. So I've got four or five hours of uh, writing. I get uh, two hours of other creative stuff and two hours of administrative stuff and networking that are 8 to 9 or 8 to 10 hours work per day. Yeah. Let's try it um, till uh, Wednesday. Let's try it one week and um, I only uh, abandon it at Wednesday when it really sucks. <laughs> so I will tell you uh, Wednesday uh, how it went the first two days and yeah. I also want to start a YouTube program there, are some sport programs, 10 minutes a day to your dream body in four weeks. Uh, yeah, they don't know on which level I start. But uh, yes, I will choose one of these programs, do it. Maybe I'm choosing one two week, only two weeks long or one week long or one minute to your dream body, only one appliance necessary, <laughs> only one, only looking at it once necessary. I want to post on my real life Facebook my project in the next days, but I'm talking my lips off by explaining what is web fiction. So before that, the video what is web fiction will have to be ready. All right, um, that's it. So see you Wednesday. Bye bye.